Hi everyone, welcome to the Art Cellar of Houston. This is Sarah Lowe and today I am working on this cute little bag. This is the Art is Happiness bag and as you can see it's not completely done. It's almost done. But we're going to show you how to finish off the rest of it. This is what it looked like originally. Nice and clean. And what I did was just wrap some twine around different areas of this bag. So I scrunched it up, you know, real tight and put some twine where you see these nice little creamy lines right here. Those are the canvas color bag. And the areas that are covered completely in paint, those are the ones that were affected. So I'm gonna fill in right now the areas that were left uncovered. I've got my paint down here. I'm not gonna use the same exact colors. I'm gonna use different colors than I originally had to fill in the gaps and make something even more creative. I'm starting off by mixing together the blue and a whole bunch of water. So I've watered it down a lot. If you wanna add water down more, just dip your brush into the water cup, add it to your area, grab a little bit of paint, and mix it together. It's gonna to start off thick. The more you mix it together, the longer you take, the more liquidy it becomes or, or uh, solid it becomes in color. And I'll come over here and I'll just blot a little bit. And I just wanna keep blotting in the same area until I fill in what I've got. Now, if you've got green paint, um, you are welcome to fill it in with the exact same color. But I wanted to try something different and put different colors and kind of make it a little more rainbowish. Come up here, do the same thing. This pattern's in a different direction. Some areas I want a little darker, so I'm just gonna add it, let the paint thick, keep stay thick. This has got to be the most gorgeous day today. It's my backyard. Well, looking up in my backyard. And down. Uh, nice little lemon tree. We've got more stuff the other way. But we're going to stop there. I love this, beginning to look like two little hearts. So now, as you can see, I've gone ahead and fill up, filled in some of the hearts here. Over on this side, I went up here and did a heart here. I'll zoom back a little bit more so we have another one here and another one over there. Everything looks to be pretty much done on this side. So now I'm going to flip it over to the other side and continue to fill in the gaps. All right, so we get a lot more territory to work on this side. So here we're using, as you can see, we're using some acrylic paints that are just watered down. And these come in the Art is Happiness bags on our website, artsellerhouston.com. Then click shop. You can, from this point, do something completely different and maybe create a scenery. Um, you can just use different color acrylic paints here. Maybe make a nice um, tree branches, kind of like you see here. Some, some leaves, maybe some bushes to you. Really, whatever you want to create and make it your own. You can continue going with the solid shapes. 
If you've got stencils that you want to put on the back of this, now's a good time to jump in with those. Um, but whatever you want to create is actually up to you. Uh, for me, I'm actually going to go into that uh, tree branch with leaves and flowers. I really like that look. It's just something I um, enjoy doing and it's simple and easy for me. You'll see a lot of it in my paintings, artsellerhouston.com. So let's get started. So I've taken my, you can see the blue here, this is random blue. And this is peacock blue. I've mixed those two colors together here and I've added a lot of water. Now I've taken a look at my bag and I'm trying to determine what to do. And while looking at it, I saw some nice roses. So I'm going to elaborate on those roses. We'll start by drawing the stem here. And just filling it in. The base of the rose there, the other side. Curl it a little bit. And you'll come down, grab some more paint. Always remember to water down your paint. You don't want it too thick. I like the old jean look. And you can wet your napkin or your paintbrush and keep spreading that paint. The more water you add, the thinner the color is going to get and it won't dry on so thick. It won't be hard basically when it dries. If you want to go back and do fine detail additions later, you can totally do that. So I see one there. Sorry, I got off kilter. See another one right here. And then I see another one over here. Might be a little one there that we can add to. So we're going to add those in. We'll come back and show you what it looks like after. So I've been working for about 30 minutes. I wanted to show you what we're doing here. We've come in and we've found where the flowers are with the blue stem found where the leaves are going to be. Put this one a little more in the light. There we go. Sorry, we're working, working with natural light here, guys. And then here's the last one. So we've got still a little bit more to do down here. Um, one thing that I did want to point out, the reason I got, I stopped halfway through, is that we're putting multiple layers here. We're not just doing one layer or one coat. We're actually doing two or three layers to get the variation of color. Hopefully this can zoom in. So as you can see, you got to put a couple of different colors. It still has to stay watered down. Here is my, my cups. You see I have more water here and less water on this side. Hi everyone. Welcome back. My name is Sarah Lowe. I have Panda Lowe behind the cameras today. No, you're not supposed to say that. Oh. No. Wait, can you back up so they can see me? Can you see me now? Mm -hmm. Can you see me now? Yeah. Okay. okay, so we will be painting a canvas tote bag. We actually have been painting the canvas tote bag, but we have Pandalo who has just joined us behind the camera, and she will be holding the camera and not looking elsewhere. <laughs> Sorry, I just thought I got a splinter in my toe and I was like, Ooh. Heavens to Betsy. So I need to look, but... That's true. Do you want me to hold for this painting? Yeah, come take a look and see what we've done already. Can you hold the camera, please? Mm. We've got this... Out. We've got this done. I have one more idea for it. What's your next idea? Yeah. What should we add to it? I'm going to paint it on. We need some gold colors for this. Gold colors, okay. Anything, are we adding something up here, or are we just going to leave this like this? Just a little leaving. So we're just going to... Yeah, that's actually watercolor, so you're going to have to, yeah. Let me clean off I'm the getting nose. it. Magic.
And you don't want the paint to be too thick when you're working on fabric, otherwise it'll turn the fabric super hard when you're done. So as long as it's watered down and it's thinned out, then you don't have to worry about your fabric being thick. That's the key with painting on fabric with acrylic paints, is keeping the paint super watery. So it is Panda Jet because uh, we're not redoing the video. I'm just telling you. I got my some panda gloves on. So on the other side too. And I got panda pants. If you can't see. There they are. Falling down. Super cute. So my name is Panda Lo. And this is what she is doing right now. She's going to be painting the back. She already got half of it done. I really like it so far. It's looking pretty cool, and I think your additions. And this is Sarah. Hi guys, um, I think your additions that you added earlier actually made this look ten times better. So yes, you know, it kind of helps to work with a partner sometimes. Yeah. Thanks for your suggestions. They came out. They're coming out really good. I didn't suggest anything earlier, but okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm still rocking. There we go. Okay. Hello, this is Panda Jet with her panda gloves. So, today we will be, I will be auditioning, we're still in the same video, but I will be auditioning to be in the art store. How do you think about that, Sarah, Lo? Interesting. Oh, yes. Interesting. Sarah. Yes. So, let me audition. So, the way we're going to audition is that, the way audition means that you got to get into something, and I'm going to try to get into the art cellar. Yes. So what we're going to do is I'm going to do a nice thing on this bag. Mm. And just hold on. I think you've already added some nice things on the bag. On this bag. So, you saw the bag, right? So I'm going to try to paint um, two nice things on it that would be pretty. And if she approves it, I get into the art cellar. But if she doesn't approve it, I don't get into the art cellar. So let's see if she approves it. And I want her to get into the art cellar. Is it okay if I make a panda? Uh, <laughs> Just kidding. I don't know how to paint a painting. Okay, like you guys, so first I got this flower done. She's just adding more flair from pizzazz to it. And I'm going to do my second thing. So I want to let her hold the camera so I can paint. Right, okay, Mommy? yeah, hold on. Okay. Switch. Okay, switch. So while she is holding the camera, I'm gonna see if I can ace this next flower. So first, if when you're going back, you wanna know where you're gonna put the flower. So I like to put a little white dot where I'm gonna put the flower. Where's your white dot? Right there. Okay. Now, I'm going to put the paint on top of it because now you don't need that white doll because you're gonna have the paint there to mark it. And I'm gonna try to do a big flower. But first, I need to add more paint here, then I need to get water, and then I need to mix it. Add more paint and mix it. And then you're going to put this in the middle as the little spot in the center, if you can see that. And now we're going to make the stem. And we don't have any green here, so we're just going to add some blue. Grab some water. So I'm 
good with my two flowers now. Now we're going to let her check it out and see how she likes it. Alrighty. Okay. <laughs> so now she's going to check it out. So would you please check it out and see sure. if I got it? So this is one of my flowers. I like that one a lot. It looks really this cool. This is my second flower. That one looks good. We could have done a little more water here. So I'm going to fill this part in for you. Okay. I like to have a solid look going across mm -hmm. whenever I'm doing these uh, stems. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to make sure that it connects to something, grab some more of my color, and add it to connecting right there. Perfect. Okay. So it's a great addition. Yeah. Thank you so much. You are hired. Yeah. Oh, wait, hold on. You have the camera? <laughs> now. Yay! <laughs> Can I have an applause? Woo! So this is the ending of our horrific video. Horrific <laughs> Thank you guys for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed this tidbit on how to paint on a canvas bag. We look forward to seeing you next week, same time, same place, Art Seller Houston on YouTube. And by the way, her ear is not comfy. <laughs>